When I say bananas, you say peppers. And you guys, I have been testing Timu products again today. I got this wig from Timu. It's human hair. Yes, touch it, touch it. I almost said smell it, please don't. That's kind of creepy. Oh my God. Um. Anyway, I'm probably not gonna leave this on the whole time. Today is Gashbon day. I am currently working on one of my many little DIY projects. Actually, is this even considered a DIY? There is some sewing involved. I am making a new Ita bag. The theme of this Ita bag, weird core. Uh, and so I feel like I'm always drawn to a lot of both weird gash pawn and also just like some cute retro or highly realistic looking things. I think we have a, oh my God, I almost uh, cringed when I said vintage technology, but vintage by today's standards. What is it? Vintage is like 10 years. What is that? Antique is a hundred years. Vintage is, is that just 10 years? I don't know, 10, 20? Who's counting? Uh, sippy sippy. We are on a healthy water journey today, <gasps> which, oh my God. Okay, pause, discuss. I feel like I wanted to like make a tea vlog out of this because my mind blown. Do you guys already know what I'm about to say? Oh my God, okay. <sighs> oh, wig gone. Um, I never secure these down in any way other than like two bobby pins and a hat. Anyway, you guys, freaking water talk. I just discovered water talk yesterday. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be people like drinking just like crisp from a stream water. I didn't know that you were like allowed to add a bunch of flavorings into it. I am leaving my hair dirty with purpose. I want to try the new overnight dry shampoo. Let's massage my brain. Let's see if any of these gash pawn I have selected will be good for my Ita bag. Honestly, I selected these out of a huge box of gash pawn I got from Amazon Japan over a month ago. So what did I put in here? I don't know. What's on top? It's a pink egg. The only downside is unfortunately none of these fit into our actual gash pawn dispensing machine. I feel like I've got that same complaint every time. What is this? It's a bag of squids. <laughs> well, that's weird enough. Yes, it's indeed a bag of small squids. Did you need that in your life? I think that they're meant to be like, yeah, bath toy squids. Oh my God, you guys, this is one of these experiences where I wish you guys could just reach your little phalanges through the screen, have a touch. I wish you guys could touch these squids. First of all, can you see the squids? They're very adorable in person. See, back like all this way, I could be like, yeah, they're tomatoes. Would you know? I mean, I guess tomatoes don't have legs. These are super similar to one of the other gash pond that we unboxed semi-recently. I'm not sure if it was the last gash pond unboxing video, but the bath toy one. Do you guys remember that? We actually had to assemble that one. I'm glad there is no assembly required here. How about if I just show you guys like the brand, the other options we could have got? These are from, oh my God, yes. That relatively new brand of gash pond I've been trying out. I don't know, I don't think it's like new. I think it's just new to me. There's ducks, frogs, dolphins, squids, and turtles. So many cute options. You guys, now I feel like I have to find the frogs. Next, Gashpon, what is this? It's like clear and I can't tell. It just looks like some kind of machine of some sort. I always try and peel the tape off versus cutting it for some reason. It's just a little extra challenge. We've done it. Um, oh, what is this? It's a keychain. Stickers that look like dust. What? It, doesn't that just look like piles of dust? <laughs> like, let's unbox it. It almost looks like a speaker of some sort. You know, like in Hocus Pocus where he's like making the announcement. Why is that my specific memory for an overhead speaker? Oh, it also seems to be like somewhat magnetic. That is interesting. The chain was like stuck to the back of the box. <gasps> Focus 
reference was perfect. It's creepy. It's like a grandfather clock. Why? Why? I don't know. I really like it. I like the sounds that it makes. So this is from a brand called Sota. I think we've had a couple gash pawn from them before. There were four different options in this set. They all look like just boxes. I don't know. All right, you guys. <sighs> I don't actually yeah this will be perfect this will be perfect for the weird core eat a bag I would maybe even leave this on the outside this one doesn't have tape it went flying oh my god yes oh I was not expect why why am I surprised about this you guys these are from a J dream set and I love this series. So it's supposed to be like knocking off KFC because it says the logo is CKN, oh, abbreviation for chicken. But I mean, I think you can see we haven't gotten like the bucket or the nuggets yet or anything that really has a logo on it. Last time we got the rotisserie chicken, which was the one I wanted the most. And I feel like this is the one that I wanted the second most. It is a realistic drumstick, but what keeps shocking me is they're like squishies they're almost like a mochi kind of squishy it's just a loose turkey leg and yeah look at that you can just have a little squish to your heart's delight so yeah hopefully in one of the upcoming videos we will get why am I just like mesmerized by squeezing this chicken? Yeah, hopefully in one of the next ones we will get, I'm trying to like find the bag so I can responsibly put this chicken leg back in a protective thing. That's the only thing I don't like about things that are like so squishy like that, like mochi squishies. I feel like you kind of have to always put them back inside of something because if you don't, they will get hairy and you will wish that you had remembered to put them back in something. Anyway, you guys, yeah, hopefully in one of the next unboxings we will get get one of the chicken things that has like the faux KFC logo on it. I feel like that would be fun. Oh yes, it is the retro. Now there's a third term, retro vintage antique. I feel like I should like know this information or Google it. I always like to make the little lids pop. Let's see. You know what's so funny? Okay, <laughs> it literally just lifts off. I love these things. I love how they look. I actually have some jewelry. I wonder if this company still exists. I hope they do. It was called Ejects, I think. And they would take like old technology like this, like the actual items and turn it into like jewelry, like earrings, necklaces. Like it was really, really cool. And I actually had these, are these a CD-ROM? I feel like this was like the weird world in between floppy disks and CDs, you know? I think that this is meant to be this peachy one, right? It doesn't look totally clear, but it doesn't quite look purple. Oh, Bright Link. Okay, it says it here on the back. I don't know if we've had any other gash pond from them, but I really do love this. I feel like especially the further away you are from it, kind of like mini brands, you know, the more real that it looks. Like my wig. Just two balls left. Uh, let's open this orange one. What are we? What are we gonna get? Oh my God, yes! Oh, this will be perfect. This will be perfect for my Ita bag. It is miniature jam keychain. So many jam flavors we could have gotten. What flavor did we get? Oh my God, it's grape. Ooh, it's purple. Oh, I love that. You guys, look at how real this looks. I thought that this was like just kind of Smucker's packaging, but I guess this is just like universal symbol for jam is like the picnic looking lid and a beautiful, beautiful jam. You guys, I don't even know if y'all can see how cool this is. Cause like the more light, pa oh, can I do an iPhone trick? Maybe if I just shine light, can you, no. Oh, you can kind of see now, maybe, hopefully. It looks really cool in person because you can see through it. So it makes it look even real, realer, more like jam. Let's see the other options we could get. Ooh, kiwi. I have never had kiwi jam. So it looks like orange, apple, kiwi, grape, or strawberry were all of our different jam possibilities. 
I have never had these flavors. I feel like I've only had grape and strawberry. I feel like I've never had orange, apple, or kiwi jam. You guys, I feel like I would love all of those flavors. Like there's not really any kind of fruit that I don't like, if I'm being honest. I'm like really trying to think of a fruit I don't like, but I feel like there's never been a fruit that I've gotten to try that I don't like. I don't know. So anyway, I feel like I would like all the jams too. All right, you guys, last one is one of these giant green balls. Ew! <gasps> you guys! Oh my gosh. Okay, I stuck this one in there and I don't know why. I honestly wanted to save these for like a whole collection. You know what I mean? Oh my gosh, but now I've seen it. These are some of the miniature stationary mascots. The last time we did these, I was only able to buy them from a stationary store. I can't even remember what that store was called now, unfortunately, but they were selling them in blind box fashion, not even in gash pond eggs. Do you guys remember we like unboxed all miniature stationary items? This is the latest series of the miniature stationary. So this is so cute because it's a set of Pintel. I think it's supposed to be colored pens, but you form a little keychain out of these two moving pieces. Like, look at that. <gasps> oh my gosh. Now, since these items are from Japan, I feel like a lot of times with these companies, we do get crossover where like sometimes you can recognize, like I'm trying to remember, I feel like it was like Sharpie or something. No. No, it wasn't. I'm trying to remember what it was. It was like a specific tape or pin brand or something. And I actually recognized the miniature that we got. I don't recognize this exact type of pin, like Pintel RSVP or something. Isn't that who makes? Yeah, Pintel RSVP. You guys, I have not yet had lunch today. It's like four o'clock in the afternoon. So basically everything I'm saying right now is one long continuous brain fart. So let's go ahead and form our adorable little keychain. I love when they look like this. These are kind of my favorite ones where you get like a whole like miniature like package of something and then you get like another thing. Do you know what I mean? Like basically just like this. I'm trying to remember. I don't think it was Sharpie but there was another marker or maybe a stamp set that we got in the last series that was like this as well. You got a larger single item and then a package and then you turned it into a keychain. <gasps> yes. Um, all right, you guys, what was my favorite one today? It's really hard for me to pick, honestly. I did love the pins. I also love the chicken leg. And uh, I, I loved them all. Uh, I'm about to separate them out and see which ones do I think would fit perfectly in my weird core Ita bag. I did just sew the background. Oh my god, you guys, I don't know why my skin is like so itchy today. I'm starting to be concerned is is toner a step for me or not. That's the only thing I've changed is the last couple of days I've been trying to like diligently add toner pads. Not every day but so so maybe for the last like four days. I've done it like two out of four days and now like just this area is like so much itchier. I'm sure you guys wanted an update on my itchy face but yes anyway I sewed like a tie-dye background for like the background of my Ita bag. Next Gash Pond unboxing video, I'll bring the Ita bag so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Anyway, you guys, thank y'all so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. As usual, I would love to know which Gash Pond was your favorite today. Let me know in the comments down below. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Banana Pepper Squad today. And until I see you guys again, which is gonna be very, very soon, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. Bye!